open the book, the first chapter of part 2 is chapter 5, numbers up to 100. Now, we'll learn this new chapter today. We'll learn the numbers up to 100. See here, numbers up to 100, the questions I have written, the first questions, right? The first question is A, match each bunch has 10 grams. So I have made one uh, drawing here, but in the book, if you look it, there are many diagrams are there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So one I have written here. So what you will do? You have to match the correct numbers from this list. You have to select the number. Now, you need to count how many grapes are there in these three bunch of grapes. Okay? Let's start. See, in the first bunch of grapes, how many grapes are there? Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten grapes in the first bunch. Next, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten. In the third bunch of grapes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten grapes. Here we have only one grapes. So how many tens of grapes we have? We have one ten, another one, here two tens, we have three tens. So three tens means how much? Ten, twenty and thirty. So we have, we have thirty grapes here. And then one more grapes we have here extra. So if we put it together, we have 31 grams. So 10 grams, 10 grams, 10 grams. We have how many types, uh, how many uh, 10 grams we have? We have 3 tens of grapes. And how many grapes we have? 1 ones. So, so we have 1 grapes here. So 3 10 means 30 grapes. And one year is only one year. So 30 plus 1, you have 31 grapes. Now what you are going to do, you are going to find the numbers which is here in this list of numbers. We have 31 here out of all this. So you have to match the correct number of grapes. This is the correct number of grapes. So, number one, I have done for you. So, number two, three, four, five, count and correct, uh, count the number of grapes in the books and find the correct number from here and just match it. Very easy. Number one has been done. Now, let's come back to question number B. Fill in the numbers before, after or between. So, three questions are given here. One box, second box, and the third box. So what you see here is that all the numbers, digits which are written in this box are in different different places. The first box, the numbers is written in the first box. In the second box, there are two numbers which is written. One in the first box, second box is empty and the third box numbers is written here. And in the third box, the first box is empty but numbers is written in the second box, the last box. So what we are going to do, we have to fill in this blank. This empty boxes we have to fill with numbers. So how we are going to fill? By following these rules. What are the rules here? Fill in the blanks, in the, the, fill in the numbers before. We have to remember this word by using these three words. Before, after, and between. So, what is the meaning of this word? Let's start with this. Before. Before means what? 45. Okay. Before means, before reaching this 45, what number is there here? Okay. Now, after means, next, what is next? Once you have finished, what is next? For example, 
33, you started counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you reached 33 and what is next? That is after. Okay? Now, the third is between. Between means in the middle. What number is there in the, uh, in the middle? So, 35. So, 33 is there. 35 comes, but in middle, this is called between, in the middle. So, in middle, there has to be some numbers. Then we will reach 35. Right? So, let's start. Let's find out what we are supposed to do. We, have, we started here the first box with number 45. Then we have to find the next one. So you are going to find the next number that is after. So this is after. Means what comes after 45. Okay. Second thing. We are not supposed to find what number is there here. We are not going to find what number. We are going to find there is two numbers given. We have to find the middle one. Means between. So 38 and 40. What number is there in the middle? In between. That means between. If you are going to find the number what is in the middle, then it is between. So we will write in the box like this. This is after. This is between. And the first box is empty. Right? And the second box there is a number. That means we have to find which is coming before reaching this 22. That means it is before. So we have made three box. In each box, the numbers are written in different different place. We have to identify which is after, which is before and which is between. We have done here. Right? So after means once 45 is finished, what comes next? 46. This is two numbers is given in the middle one we have to find out which is between. So 38 and 39 and 40. And the last one is the first box is empty. Second box there is numbers. That means we have to find what is coming here before reaching here. Before. So 21. So this is before. First, if you are finding this number, then it is before. After counting the numbers, if you are finding then, we are finding the next number that it is after. And if you are finding any number between the middle number, then it is between, right? So, this is very simple, very easy. Number B has been done for you. You can practice at home. Now, the next is, let us learn how to count number in tens. Counting in tens. So if you open the page number 8, you will see that counting in tens. Okay? Counting in tens. We have done counting numbers from 1 to 100, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, we will learn to count those numbers in tens. So, counting in tens means what? See here, we already started this. In one bunch of grapes, how many grapes we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 grapes here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 grapes here. How many grapes in this bunch? We have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have another 10 grapes here. And this bunch of grapes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 grapes in this bunch. Now next we have 2 grapes. Now, so counting in tens means we are counting this bunch of grapes in tens. Like one, how many uh, bunch of grapes we have? One, two, three. So we have three bunch of grapes. In each bunch means in one bunch, how many? Ten. We have ten, three, 
tens. So three tens means thirty. We have thirty grapes. So here, how many grapes we have? Two grapes. So we have two ones. Now, if you open the page number ten, if you open the page number ten, the fifties. Let's start with one example. The fifties. Write the number one has been done for you here. Five tens and two ones. Let's start this uh, this one first. See here. We have a block here, long block, and in one block we have ten digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In one block we have ten digits. In the second block, in the second block also we have the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So in this block also we have ten digits. So we have. Three more block here. One more block here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have another ten here. And the two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So one, two, three, four. So, uh, in one block we have ten digits. We have ten. So how many blocks we have long? One, two, three, four, five. So we have five tens. And we have one, two, two ones. Okay. So, how you will represent this number? Five tens means fifty. Two ones means two. So, all total we have fifty-two. So, how you write this number in the? Represent this number in the uh, box. See the number box which has made in the book. So we have a number system, and that number system is here. We start counting from the right side, which is ones place. Okay, ones, tens, okay, ones and tens. So in ones place we have two ones. So you will write the two here, and then in the tens place, how many tens we have? Five tens, right? So in tens place, then you will write the number of tens you have got. So we have got the number of tens. How much? One, two, three, four, five. So we have got five tens. So in tens place, we will write. Five. In the one place, what we got? Two here. So we we'll write two. Then we have fifty-two. This is uh, okay. Now, in the same way, the next question is: we have five tens. If you look at the book, we have five tens and then five ones. So we have. Five tens and the five ones. That means one, two, three, four, five. 
in one side we have five box in one side we have five pens then how you will represent this number so we write the number according to the number system what is the number system we start with ones we write o or to write ones place and then p represent for tens or you can write a ten place like that okay so how many tens we have one two three four five so we will write the five in the tens place so five tens means how much five tens means fifty and then in the one place this one how many box we have one two three four five we have five box which means five ones five ones means only five so in one place we will write this five then all together we have fifty five fifty five so this is the way how you are supposed to do so the rest are very easy five tens and seven ones five tens and eight ones do it at home and the the sixties the sixties also the same thing you have to count the number of tens how many tens are there and then put it in the in the place where it is written here ones place and tens place you have to put it in the correct place the place i have written on the blackboard here okay ones place tens place now the fifties we have done the rest is you practice at home very easy sixties you do it at home the eighties you do it at home and if you turn the page to page number 12 the nineties and hundreds okay now i'll do one more which is the seventies now the seventies how do we count this number in seventies in the same way How many tens we have? One, two, three, four, five. So five, six, seven. We need two more boxes, right? Two more box of tens. So let's write it here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have another box of tens here. So we have one more than six. We need one more. So one more box here, which has ten digits here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have the complete seven box of tens. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The first question here. Seven tens and two ones, so two ones. So we have two box. Here we have only two. So what is the important thing here is that you need to know this tens putting in the right place. What is the right place? We start counting the digits in this way. We start with ones, okay, and then we goes tens, and then we goes hundred like that. So these things you will learn in the next chapter. For today, you will learn up to tens. So ones and tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven tens, which means seventy. And we have two ones. We have two ones. So you have to put this tens and ones in the right place. So the box is given here in the book in this way. In the right side of the box, it is written ones, or you can represent it like this one and tens. You can represent it like that and tens like that. Okay. So ones you will put it in the ones place. Two, seven you will put it in the seven place. So which makes seven tens and two ones seventy two. Very easy. Question number two, three, and four. There are only four questions. One has been done. The remaining three you do it, and then the nineties also you do it in the same way. Now, in the next class, we will do the next topic.
which is the number names. Stay home, stay safe.